Hey guys, it's Frostblame back with another Clash of Clans video in the Builder Base here. But before we get into this, let's swap back to the regular base. And as you can see, I have geared up one of my cannons. It is uh, now in burst mode. You can see, uh, most of you probably know this by now, but uh, it has burst and normal mode. Uh, burst has shorter range, but much higher damage. Definitely better to do burst, but you can only gear up one cannon at a time, so uh, definitely... Um, you know, a good reason for it, because they're very strong when things do get into their range, because 76 damage per shot, and that equates to about 280 damage, a little bit more, uh, you know, basically, uh, per volley of, uh, cannonballs. So, let's just watch this go into effect here, uh, showing this defense. It was a 49%, so definitely a clutch by us, but as you can see, He's going to send in four P.E.K.K.A.s. Not, I'm not saying this is the best attack by our opponent. I just want to show you guys the damage that this thing can dish out. So, keep in mind, uh, these P.E.K.K.A.s are just hacking through the wall. And he's... I'm not sure if he's trying to build a funnel or what. But, either way, uh, the P.E.K.K.A.s are going to kind of split up into two groups. Which is kind of good because you don't want too many P.E.K.K.A.s firing upon this uh, cannon here. So, you can see, doing high damage there, you can... Compl like, you can see each individual cannonball doing stuff, and you can see it'll do a ton of damage there, so definitely good. I mean, it, you can see that peck has a lot more damage, even though the upper one uh, was having the Expos firing upon it, so I definitely rate the double cannon, and I'm excited to have the, um, you know, basically all of the other defenses be geared up and everything like that, so Excited for that, but that's basically for the main base. Let's uh, go back here. And as you can see, guys, I'm uh, working my way up Builder Hall 4, almost ready to go to Builder Hall 5. It's been a while since I made a Builder Base video, but either way, let's jump, uh, jump into an attack here. Um, and honestly, I'm at a trophy level where I'm facing a lot of Builder Hall 5s, and it's getting really difficult to actually win matches. Um, just considering, uh, how, uh, you know, how over-level my opponents are. But either way, we're gonna try to be getting through these attacks here, and hopefully we can just go through this side since all of the, uh, air-targeting defenses are in different areas, uh, down at the bottom of the base. Hopefully we can get to that Builder Hall. Don't know how well, how well it will work, but we can try. Looks like we're at 32% here. Probably going to get this Builder Hall in a minute, but it looks like we are going to get the two-star here. Very good. Um, poor base design by our opponents. It's definitely going to be uh, leaving him a little bit uh, easy to plunder his base with. And as you can see here, guys, we are going to get about two stars, uh, just a little bit over that. Almost got that uh, multi-mortar down, but sadly we did not. Looks like it's a pretty convincing uh, two-star, so let's see if our opponents can beat it. So, uh, I like how the new feature, you can watch your opponent's attack. Let's see. He is Builder Hall 5. Can he get the Builder Hall down, though? Um, I find it, like, they made it so that the, uh, it's kind of glitchy. Wow. He's Builder Hall 5, and he only got 27% on me. I don't know. Anyway, but... Uh, they kind of made it so it's kind of glitchy watching your opponent live, because you can see, um, you know, the giant was way up top and it was attacking the wall, so if you watch the replay, it won't look like that, but either way, uh, let's go into our star laboratory, upgrade our giants to, ma uh, not max level, but max level for Builder Hall 4, even though, uh, really giants are not that great in the meta right now, but... Let's upgrade a wall. Really, they're kind of pretty expensive at this point, but we're basically just trying to grind out the walls and the Star Laboratory stuff at this point. And uh, once we do that, we're basically good to go to Builder Hall 5, and we'll have to obviously do the gem mine. But I'm really excited for Builder Hall 5, considering we get the multi-mortar, the, uh, what is it? It's the battle machine, you know, all that kind of stuff. But either way, uh, let's get into the next attack. Getting into this next attack, guys, you can see, yet again, it's at Builder Hall 5. Told you guys, kind of difficult at this point, but uh, looking at it, it's probably not going to be something that we can just use our air troops to get to the core. Um, but, as you can see here, I'm thinking we can probably just try to use archers to get 50% around the side of the base and hope he does poorly against us. As you guys have uh, already seen, I haven't really made a new base for Builder Hall 4. Partially because I've been lazy, but honestly, um, I'll try to make one at Builder Hall 5. 
So, let's see. Can I outrange the Archer Towers? I'm hoping I can, but I don't know. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to just basically put the archers around here. Hope that we can get that done. Uh, let's, yeah, there we go. Okay, so we got some archers there getting the barbarians down from the guard post. Uh, 37% doing okay, but I can't say it's good. Um, so I'm going to place an archer right there. Then we are going to see, I'm going to place about three archers to try to take out that archer tower. Uh, then maybe they'll be able to take out the elixir pump. It's going to be close, but I doubt it. Uh, considering, oh wait, no, it's already damaged. Okay, that's good. So, as you can see, that archer up there has uh, gotten both the uh, air bombs and is about to get the, well, yeah, okay. I was like, don't jinx it, Frostflame. Uh, and is going to get the uh, army bit camp down. Let's see if we can get down the... Uh, you know, the, uh, what's it called? Uh, I keep on forgetting what these buildings are called. It's the guard post, Frostflame. Uh, let's see, so, 54%, that did not do it, that's annoying. Okay, so, let's see if these two archers can, oh, okay, they can take down the gem mine. I did not realize it was that injured. 60%, as long as he doesn't get two stars, I'm assuming we'll be doing okay, but it's gonna be a close one this time. And it looks like we have won this, guys, we got 100,000 loot. Let's just watch his attack, since he use the cannon carts, because really not that many people, like, I mean, I've seen plenty of action with the cannon carts, but I haven't, uh, seen many cannon carts used against me, so, let's just see how this guy decides to use them, they're only level 1, so I doubt they're that great, uh, considering they don't have that ability, uh, but either way, two of them already went down, not a very good attack by him, probably why we won, um, and really, I mean, if you're going to use cannon carts, you need to be a little bit more strategic and space them out. They're kind of like wizards. You don't want to deploy them all in the exact same tile, otherwise their firepower is basically wasted. So, either way, guys, that'll basically do it for this Builder Base episode. Not a ton was done, and I'm going to, uh, kind of be slowing down on the series. I mean, we'll still, uh, do plenty of videos when it comes to, you know, showing you guys new stuff that's important and that kind of thing. But uh, when it comes to, like, just the daily grind kind of stuff, uh, I'm not going to be doing any of that anymore. It's basically just going to be showing you guys the important new things that we'll unlock later on. And that'll basically do it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.